Hello, I'm ABX Toy Camp. Welcome back to the video. Today I'm here on my PlayStation 4 Creative World, as you can probably tell from the giant Minecraft and the IBX Toy Cat logo. But yeah, I'm here today because I wanted to talk about things you can only do in PlayStation 4 slash Xbox One, basically the edition version of Minecraft's Creative. The reason I wanted to do this is because there's a lot of benefits of these versions that you don't really realize until you leave them, and you can't really really put your finger on it. But I wanted to talk about things that make this game better, both so if you're playing PlayStation 4 still, you can feel a little bit smug about yourself. But if you're not, so you can realize the changes that need to happen before the Creative will feel just as good. So hopefully you do enjoy this video. Either wait, you can like it if you do like it, because it helps out the channel a lot, and let's know you do enjoy this whole video. But with that said, let's get straight into it, shall we? And let's start the very first thing, which is actually going to be, you know, because, you know, there's a lot of things they've changed already. Uh, you know, like, uh, I want to kind of mention that, like, there's some of these things where you just don't realize them, and the biggest example is this, is the fact that on this version of the game, the block pacing speed is perfectly lined up with your movement speed, so you can do stuff like this, and you can actually break and place blocks in an e uh, easy, perfect line like that. So, yeah, this is really handy, because it means that if you have a big line of blocks, you can place them easily and you don't have to like worry about like going like this and that etc which used to happen on the old version and when it was fixed it would just made that game a lot better and I'm, I'm, I'm pointing these out because I want it to be kind of like that like the first one here which is custom super flat we've heard custom super flat is confirmed for some point but the reason custom super flat is so darn useful is because it means you can have a world as deep as tall as far as you know you can make it out of whatever you want even if you're going to make it out of uh, you know uh, grass which you might say wait wait a minute this is just made out of grass I have this grass being I think it's 20 blocks deep you can see right here it goes really really deep down which means if I want to make a build which goes slightly underground let's say it's like a staircase or we want to make just you know, again like a staircase into the ground or you want to make something which is partially submerged uh, on the default super flat on the uh, PE you have to build that dirt yourself because once you go more than three blocks down you just hit bedrock so this is all the dirt you'd get uh, however in my version I made it like this so if I want to go down right the way into bedrock I can do that too obviously this is just the surface level thing the next thing you can do is make the custom blocks so the very last block in my world is cobblestone I don't know why but I figure maybe they'll come up at some point but my point being the fact that you can customize this is so darn useful and it's something I really want to clarify it helps the creative experience a lot because most creative players are playing in super flat and being able to make that super flat your own even in the simplest of ways like I've done here really does help out and it means stuff is more possible where it goes deep into the ground and yeah with that said let's talk about the second thing which is actually the fact that you can only fly in eight directions this seems like it's actually a downside the fact that flying in Minecraft is stuck to the eight, uh, the four cardinal directions so basically uh, you know northeast southwest and then northeast southwest etc you can only fly in those eight directions you might think no that's not true that's easily you know that's that's definitely not the case however let me show on the ground that you can kind of walk in a circle right here can you see i'm walking in roughly a circle but if i go in the sky and try and do that it won't let me do the same you can see i'm just kind of going in diagonals there's no way to do anything but those eight directions and you might think wait that's just objectively worse and honestly for a while i did think it was objectively worse but when you think about in minecraft you're placing blocks right let's say you want to place diagonal blocks you don't want to be going at like you know slightly this way and slightly like that like i would be doing right here if it was smoother you want to be just be going in one straight direction so you're placing blocks in a straight line and this means if you want to go like that you can do it if you want to go like this you can do it and uh, instead of having to like you know having to nail it exactly because if you can go in any direction which you can currently do while flying on the uh, new version it means that you're not going to get it right and over enough blocks so let me show you if, if you did this long enough eventually you'd make a mistake and one block will go out of place so yeah having it be like this is a really useful upgrade and it's one of those things again it seems like a downgrade it seems like it's useless but once you really get down to it it's just such a big benefit and I'd like to see this come over to the new versions and if not then at the very least I hope uh, you know this helps you realize that that's how it did work because I generally didn't realize until you know like I spent some time trying to work it out and uh, you know again the fact that I've been playing Minecraft for five years and this still only just hit me was something where I was like wow that's that's fascinating that maybe you do agree or maybe you're just like Toy Gat stop being so idiotic and maybe I've known this the whole time but if that is your case then maybe something you did definitely know but n not necessarily cared about because you're not switching between creatives and survival but it is an objective improvement in my opinion is the creative menu so first of all you can find any block you want in the creative menu really really easily if you want to find most blocks you can find them in less than five clicks as opposed to to a lot more than five I feel like it's optimized for like again if you want to find something it's really easy with it some few exceptions like oh yeah if you want to find all of these blocks down here they're quite far away but most blocks you can just be like press X press the buttons go right there and it's easy on the new version you gotta go like okay there's only four tabs so you know most things are impossible to find on those four tabs because there's so many items and because there's so many items they make it so they're like categorized so you're gonna be like okay I want to find myself a minecart rail is a minecart rail, it's going to be under minecarts, I guess. So you scroll to the third tab, you hit rails, and then that comes out, then you find it, and that's the easiest example. There are a lot of blocks where you're just like, okay, we'll scroll all the way to the end and we'll look for all of them. But on this version, no one tab has more than, I think it's 150 items, which 150 sounds like a lot, but they're mostly similar. This is 155, I think. That's the most uh, you're going to find one tab, and that means that you can really, really easily, uh, you know, like just skip from one tab to the other, to the other, to the other. It's really simple, easy stuff, and it means you can find everything really easily with just a few clicks, and I think it's better 
personally. But if you don't agree it's better, then the thing you will agree is better is if you have a building block or you find like a food or anything like that, by default you get one of that item. And again, this seems like it's a preference thing at first, but you know, because like what does it matter if you have one block or 64 block? But on the new version, you get 64 blocks by default. I don't know why it gives you 64 in what world that's useful, um, but it gives you 64, it just looks like it's one on the hotbar. But when you go like this, you'll see it is in fact 64. The reason I mention that is because if you want to go back into survival, which I do a bunch for videos and some people do because, you know, I, I don't understand this, but some people play Minecraft purely by going into creative every time they can't do something. And if that's you, then what you want to do, if you're doing it like that and you want to give yourself seven blocks, it's really tricky to organize that. But on this version, you get one of those blocks, you get seven of those blocks, and having 64 just seems less realistic than having one or having, you know, one or four or whatever it is. And you can very easily, if I go back into creative, I can show you just quickly right here how, you know, you can easily click, you know, if you want to have seven of those, you can have seven. If you want to have, you know, 60, 64, you can do that easily too. But on the new version, there's no easy way to just pick one of a block. You have to like, you know, play around with it, goof around, and it's just a messy little thing. So yeah, with that said, uh, that is the kind of problem with this version versus the, uh, or the old, old version versus this one. The fact that you can't click one of a block, and also the fact that you can't find your blocks is easy. Next up, we've got the fact that flying your Elytra is actually a lot easier on this version in Creative. All you have to do is you press A and you start flying, and then you can actually launch yourself into the air. You can like fly up while flying the Elytra. I don't know why this hasn't transferred over. Maybe they don't realize it exists, or I don't know what the case is, but it's just something that makes the creative game so much easier. And again, it's something I appreciate when it first came out, and it's something I really noticed when I lost, because flying like this in Minecraft just feels a lot, lot, lot more natural. It saves you having to hold you know, forwards on the joystick, and it also just feels really, really good in my opinion. You know, again, the fact that you're just kind of flying naturally like you would in survival. Um, again, and you, you can do it infinitely because you're pressing A on the thing. I prefer this system immensely, and I feel like it's such a simple change. They're not doing advanced reasons. I think they just haven't realized it yet. It will change, but the question as to when it will change is something that I'd like to, you know, see maybe sped up or, you know, answered soon. So, uh, yeah, this is flying instantly from creative. Okay, let me show that again. If you want to fly on the other version, you got to fly into the sky like this. You hold X for a whole bunch of time, or A or whatever, and then you can let go, you fly, and you hope you don't hit the ground too soon. Soon. Or you can use fireworks. Whereas on this version, here's what you have to do. You're on the ground, you, you jump, you press it, and then you, okay, so you, and you're like that. And then we're flying, we're flying up, and we can go check stuff out like, ooh, let's go see what's in the giant super spice room. And you can do stuff like that, and it's pretty darn useful. So yeah, that is uh, the next uh, thing, which is just so much better on this version, in my opinion, which I'd like to see transferred over. Again, I, I feel like they're looking for things to take from this version that you know have been made over all these years. And this is one of those improvements that was made fairly recently, but it's kind of great. Uh, uh, similarly, I don't actually, you know, again, this isn't a big deal, but it's something small. But if you were going to take the Elytra from the console, you'd want to take the barrel rolling thing where like you can see the view rotates a bit it looks natural and it's just a, it's a great little thing in my opinion so moving on from that i've got one more thing i want to mention you can only do on this version of creative and this is one where i just have to mention it all the time because it's everyone's favorite item which is only found on the old console version it is of course the minecart furnace so the minecart furnace is um useless by all standards, but you can use it in some creative building, either because you want to have some wacky looking blocks and do something weird like this. Again, I, I think this is interesting to look at. Uh, or you can use it to make the, I feel like it's infamous at this point, uh, the conveyor belt system. Whereas you can see right here, okay, that <laughs> we, we broke something just a little bit. You can make a conveyor belt system where you use carpet to make only the top of it visible, and you can make it look like they're moving pressure plates or they're moving, you know, like whatever you want to believe they are. But still, the fact that you can do this is pretty darn great, and it's really, really fun to look at, in my opinion, if you can get it going. Apparently, Apparently my system is broken because it just isn't caring about my movements. But still, the fact that you can make this is pretty great in my opinion, and it's a wonderful little thing you can do on this version and this version only. So there you go. There are some changes I'd like to see. Uh, you know, the minecart furnace, I doubt it's coming over, but I'd like to see them make it so you can fly in eight directions. I'd like to see them make it so the tabs are more improved. Or if on console, you know, they're trying to make it more unique on console, just add eight tabs. Like, I, I feel like, you know, four tabs is just not enough contain 800 items or whatever. Just, just, you know, eight tabs. Or at least have an option in the menu for tabs it's just so much better in my opinion make it so you can pick up one item by default either by uh, you know if you have to make an option make an option but i think most people you know when they're clicking up an item they don't care but most people want to press one item want to have a way to do that and right now there's a way to do 64 and there's a way to do you know uh, one on this version whereas on the other version both those options do 64 and it's just like why not you know make it so there's somewhere at least and then finally uh we've got the fact that flying the elytra is just so much easier in creative which makes this version of minecraft uh still the better one for creative building in my opinion again I didn't notice it until I really tried to build some stuff. I've been doing a lot of creative building on the new version. I've been finding it a lot of fun, but the fact that I can't necessarily, um, 
the fact that I can't necessarily do all the things I've been doing uh, does cause some issues. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Like if you liked it, share if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here. I make videos like this one every single day on my channel. And if you subscribe, you'll see them daily on your homepage. I really like this uh, creative world, by the way. I hope you do as well. I've done it for a bunch of videos now, and uh, hopefully I can continue to grow this world as uh, the PlayStation 4 gets more updates in the future, and I decide to build more, you know, llama dog and Simpson men statues. So yeah, thank you very much for watching.